Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? This is your boy RP35, and I am back here again with some more Terminator Resistance. Um, this is the second part I'm going to continue where I left off last game. So um, let's go ahead and uh, let's bo boogie on and uh, get on with the gameplay here and see what's up. Hey, I remember before I didn't have the um Okay, I remember now. So I remember we was going through this little tunnel. That's exactly where where we was going. Okay. Pretty much I don't really need a flashlight. You know that that will be really, really scary if a terminator or something just popped up through that corner. Boy, that would have been that would have been terrifying. Okay. Let's see. Open this up. We got a lot of windpipes. Okay. Med kits. Okay. Now the question is why did I switch guns? I don't, I don't want to. Oh no. What am I doing? <clears throat> okay, let me see, take all this. go I'm still trying to learn how to to um, flip all the parts to it so I'm still still learning you know like I say this game is not kind of fast paced as I said the last time so I'm still still trying to get the hang of it though okay okay so I think I got everything I need yeah, I got everything I need here, so let's get on out of here. Oh, we gotta, we gotta do it in there waiting on me. Yeah, he was just mostly in there chilling. He didn't even. He didn't even see where I was at. Oh, shit. Oh! Man, where did you come from, man? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Okay. Okay, we're not gonna go nowhere. I'm gonna go up on top of this roof. Okay, let me see. Oops. Play, play, a little, play a little, play a little crappy, crazy music. All right, all right, got all of you. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Let me see. I see that big boy. That plasma storage ain't a promising sign. Don't you guys usually destroy them on site? Sound like that mud was coming up real close. You alive or dead in there? Alive. Just check. Okay, 
I swear it's like it's like pretty much with the speakers and everything it felt like that I, it felt like that thing was coming up the steps but I guess like I say they're all outside so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end up high down find up in here what I'm looking for because uh Okay, maybe resistance need to borrow some soap, boy, that can wash that, you know. Okay. Resistance thing. Okay, I got another lock pick game. Let me see. Ah, oh, easy. Okay, pretty much in this game, I still have not picked a shotgun yet. Oh crap, they about to find me. Okay, let me see. Okay, look like a fallen candy bar. Okay, well news. Okay, so they pretty much saying the Russians had um, took something for it. What's in this refrigerator, man? Well, we got some canned goods for the resistance. Open up this oven. Somebody don't left some stuff in here. Let's open up some drawers. Okay. Pretty much, you, I think all oh, the game you just—it's like you, you know, say the resistance, so you know they can have some food, you know, so they can survive. So that's what we're mostly trying to do. Okay, it's a lot of freaking doors. I just want to know what's going on here. Okay. Let's see what's about this door. Rusty, dirty. Toilet. Okay, I think I'm I'm thinking I'm done in this room. Oh, uh, some painkillers. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's like I'm going back in circles. Let me see. Okay, can't go up. There, I don't think. Let me see. Can I go up there? No. Okay, so that means I'm gonna have to find a way to. Ah, uh, stuff! Okay, I got to get out of here. We good. Calm it down, buddy. Calm it down. Okay, so we're outside the shoes. Get some fabric soft. Okay, I'm trying to see what else I can find. Candy bars, more candy bars. Uh, let me see. Let's see, I think this is pretty much.
God, that thing can be so creepy sometimes. You thinking it's just like it's coming up on you or something. Okay, there's a shotgun in the tank of the police. Okay. So he's telling me the shotgun is somewhere, and that's what I'm going to go to find it. You would think they will have the shotgun around here somewhere. I mean, it's kind of crazy, though. It's nothing here in these crates. Okay, where I'm at here. Okay, he's in there walking around, chilling. Okay, so it says I have to go, like, in a hospital somewhere. Where is that big dude at somewhere? know how many bullets on them popped up. Hey, you're not staying with us much longer. We'd be great friends. You bring out the best insults in me. Okay, I'm getting more shotgun shells, but where is... Because they said I had to go to some kind of a hospital or whatever to find the pump. Okay, I see you in there crawling around. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and look for this shotgun. If I'm going to go to my des des destination here. Go through all through this rubble. Because you never can tell what you can find. Okay, so a ladder is pretty much just not broke. It's got that plasma container. Yeah, I didn't even really didn't know where that was, but uh, well, we'll go for it. Oh shit! Lockpick's too low. Fudge. Okay, I'm not going to really do any more exploring, so basically I'm just going to go ahead and um, get to my destination, because they keep saying it was a hospital somewhere I have to find, so, um, oh, snap! 
Where'd you come from, man? Okay. Let's get all that going. Anything in this trash can? Nope. Okay, I say what I'm saving, so maybe I'm hey, going. Fuckhead. I saw some movement in the factory. Resistance? Nah, it looked like a scavenger. We aren't too far from our new hideout. Maybe it's the guy who lives there. You know what? I think I'll introduce myself. The least I can do for leaving us all those resources. <laughs> Give him a thank you card. <laughs> you keep looking. Okay, save lock from the outside. Let me see. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Kinda glad I did have enough of um packets of life, cause um man, this I would have been had to start all over again trying to find out what I'm doing. Okay, let me see if I can find anything here. Oh shit. Oh crap. <laughs> Damn, sorry about that, man. I'm sitting there like knocking stuff over. My nose is itching. Ah. Uh. Knocking stuff, knocking stuff over. Okay, let me see. Make sure anything is not around. Nothing in this little hoopty. Okay, we go back around this one. Wow. Please get me back to where I was. Please get me back to where I was. I mean, I dropped my microphone. I mean, you know, my nose was itching. And I'm sitting here trying to catch catch myself. I hope I hope it's not the way. I hope it's not the one I, I stayed before I blew myself up. They had like a lot of uh, saving points. So hopefully I'm back to where I kind of was. Okay. Back to where I'm at. As soon as I blew myself up, did not meant to. Alright. 
Take out the trash. Okay. I'll make sure what's anything in these crates. Nope, not in these crates. No guards. Not a good sign. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see trades, resources, bottles, more clothes, more dirty, dirty laundry. Okay, more metal. Okay, make sure you nothing. Okay, and I see a computer there, so... Okay, we never have enough pipe, pipe bomb shells. Okay, so let's get the crafty going. Okay, so we really got these these things right here. I don't know. Let's see, shotgun, ammo. Okay, I don't know if you can you can you craft this. Let's almost see what happens. Okay, you can. Nice. And let's craft this lot pick. All right, cool. All right, we got a saving game point, so I'm gonna make sure that everything is all right. So we in a saving point. Map. Let's see. Looks like they're keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Okay, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin? Shit. Okay, so I gotta go back and save his butt. Dang it. Add new words, Colin. Oh man, this is crazy. Like, I, I unlocked this so many freaking lock picks, and I can't even unlock this one. Let me see if I can go back to this crafty table. Uh, don't have enough resources. Okay, so let's go back. Excalibur. Okay, we can get out of this. Get out of this catch on. Head my butt to the hospital. I must find my way. How do I? It's kind of weird to go. Th okay, what is this? Oh, explosive cans. Well, yeah, I'm not going to waste my bullets on that. Which I could I could have used that I could have used it for that big guy that was that little spider thing crawling around but wasted. Okay, I know I ain't gonna be able to open this. No, lock picks too low. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let me check my goggles here. Okay, I got something floating around in there, so. Uh, we got two of them floating around there.
Heal yourself, brother. See, I, I, I don't... See, when I get all this other stuff, um, I don't really want to go back and um, get all the pieces that I'm trying to put that thing... Look at that. And there's a little plasma thing. I could have used that to blew him up. It's just kind of bad. You just don't see it. Okay, we got ports. What is this? I'm just going to save my lockpicks too low. Ah, I can open anyway. And we will take it. Can never have enough bullets. <clears throat> Energy cells. Look like a pack of smokes. With the resistance, don't really need. Okay, let me see. Open this door. Okay, he's locked from the other side. Okay, let me see. Hope I'm going the right, right area. Okay, we got a lot pick. Let's see. All right. Cloth and chemicals and all that old good stuff. Okay, do you want to leave this area? Sod objects will be failed. Okay, well, it's telling me to go that way. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what's what I'm failing? I mean, for me to, to find him and then try my hardest to, you know, to try to find this hospital. I don't even know where the hospital goes to, to you know, to be honest with you. So, um. So I'm definitely going to try to see if I can see if I can find that hospital. I don't update where it's Colin. Okay. Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Quiet. I'm following that guy. Something's not right about him. Yeah, I know it sounded like one. He was he was kind of acting, kind of funny, you know. <clears throat> okay, I don't like this one bit. It's like I'm. I'm I, it's, it seems like to me, I'm just like I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ambushed here somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay, let me see. Okay, I hope that's hope that's me making all that noise in this locker. Man, this is you don't you don't know what's gonna come up or what, and it's just like I'm walking like into a wide open, and I got a bad hunch that it's a Terminator. I, I damn it. Okay, let me see. Rifle sixteen. I think I got that one. Let me see. Yeah, I already got the rifle 16, so I ain't gonna worry about that. Oh man, they bashed him up in there. Oh! Ah, uh, Terminator. How would I expect? And I got knocked down. Jacob Rivers, marked for termination.
I'm just ready to fight these Terminators instead of me just fighting these little baby robots. Are you alright, Jacob? Jacob! Alright, man, it looked like that. It looked like the, uh, that little keeper dude from, uh, uh, from Resident Evil 4. We got some good things for you, stranger. <laughs> okay, we're going through the hot out. I mean, that's what it, that's what it kind of looked like. It looked like that dude from Resident Evil. It looked like that little dude from Stranger Guy. Hours later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Okay, so this guy just pretty much just picked Jacob, him up. Are you awake? How long have you been sitting mm. there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. Okay. That's why he's not bleeding. Thanks, man, for one to the skin bullet. The burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I Aha! Da -ha! We got a shotgun! All right. You know what? Uh, let me see. Buy. Shouldn't have to buy. Should have put it on my area. There we go. Uh, let me see. Three something. So we going to the shop. So let me see. Picked up a lot of shotgun bullets. So let me see here. Let's go. Uh, let me see. 60. Um, let's go ahead and pick up some more. Let's pick up some bullets, shall we? Okay. Med kit, you know, gotta have some med kit. That's mandatory. Okay, see the draft. See, uh, see how many pipe bombs we got. Uh, we're good on that for right now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take some of these. And I guess we'll go ahead and take some of these. Okay, we're down to 30 something dollars left. And let's go ahead and take this one lot pick. We got like 20 freaking lot picks and we can't even open them up. Okay, chemicals, part, electric parts, crafting. So let's go ahead and pick up some parts. All right. We are good. Okay. All right, so let's Learned get up out of here. Before the war, and thanks All to right. Judgment Day, well, I didn't even have to pay off Okay, so I can't blue. pick anything, so I guess I might go ahead and talk to this person. Well, before I do that, let's go ahead and... Um, okay, the hand pick, lock pick, almost about anything. Uh, Do I have enough to craft this? Yeah. All right. And let's craft this med kit. All right. We have no money. I 
have no more money. Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. Well, I should have just left. Uh, how's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully, Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now, I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be <coughs> worse having a doctor in there. I don't know. Oh man, I'm asking a lot of this lady's questions. Who else was in that camp with you? Besides me, the machines only took the young and the strong. There were up to ten people squashed together inside magnetic cages like animals. I'll always remember their names and faces. No matter how much time goes by, you're actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? About that camp. What do you want to know? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that... <laughs> this guy got a lot of... He's, I mean, he's got a lot of questions to ask this, ask this lady. Execute the whole cage. But I guess he's just the trying to know everything was going on. And Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Okay. We're still listening to the line. And where did they go? Were you still behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. 
Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Ah. Uh, well, appreciate that, so I can leave you alone. <laughs> I could talk to you. Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Okay, and you do that. Okay, so... Find some more. Okay, let me see. The trade. Have I been in this, this closet? Yeah, I've been in this closet. And I've been there to upgrade something. Okay, how do I get out of here? This place can be a maze at, at first. It's like they, it's like sometimes if it tells you like exactly where to go, sometimes you just be walking around. Ah! Take that, you tin can! You don't stand a chance. Ah! You wanted to talk to me? Good to see you finally turned the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age. I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again, don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it's got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, <laughs> I can't remember the name of that band. band. <laughs> Where was it? Tucker always dragged me to these events. Uh, driving a hundred miles to the middle of nowhere just to jump around with a bunch of strangers. <laughs> Wasn't really my thing. Who would have known that it would have saved my life, though? Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know, so... As we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. What was it? Took me a while to understand what I was looking at. The atomic mushroom cloud wasn't something we were ever supposed to see. My bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was a people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was captured by robots. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna just go on back out of here. Do you wanna leave the hot out? Yeah. Man, I mean it's a lot of lot of people I've just been talking, you know, to this whole entire game, but I guess I guess he's just trying to get more information of you know what stuff went on um pretty much i mean everything is to me of this game um it kind of it kind of pictured me of um you know a little bit of terminator one and terminator two um as i said before like i said i didn't play the game at first how far i went but the way the story everything goes it, it looks everything is uh, kind of pictured the same Okay, so we got the guns now. Let's let's try the shotgun pump, baby. Since we got the pump, 
Okay, let's go ahead and start exploring places here. See what we can find. Okay, trades. Cigarettes. I don't know what that is. Bar soap. Okay, let me see. Let's go into this little tunnel here. See what we can find in here. Okay. Explosives. Explosives. Pack of cigarettes. Okay, so I think everything I good is in here. And what is this? Okay, trade. Painkillers. So pretty much all this stuff that I'm pretty much finding is technically money. <laughs> Shirts, pain medicine, cigarettes, bar soap. So every time I pick it up, so I'm pretty much just um, getting paid by it. So, you know, nothing fancy. Okay, check the infrared. Okay, I don't see no movement. Okay, I got to find my mark. Okay, I don't know where to go. Okay, dead end. Okay, is this area where you come here in the fame menu? What is that? Sneak up on me like that. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Yeah, what you need to do is take your butt back over there and let, let the boys do but it, man. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Uh, you go do that. Pick those locks. Pick those locks. Okay, since I'm not looking for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and find you. Oh, jeez. Looks like a silverfish got him. There are every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look. This poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise. So, before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. You won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I, uh... I'm stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. All right, thanks for asking. Okay, see the sound decoy. What is that? Let's see, you know, with a high frequency sound that affects enemies in the area for a short period of time to use the sound decoy to design to the offense. So, short press the RB to throw it. Okay, so I guess you just throw it and it makes some noises, or I don't know. Okay, so this is going to be a goof here because since they say no Terminators. I see you back on your feet. You! I left you a hacking device. It's in the basement of a building off the main street. It will help you get inside that hospital. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello? Or 
parts in this mug before I can continue to keep going. This is the way I came came out of. I don't. It's not the way I want to go. Okay. Let's see what am I doing here? And this is the door I could have go, but I can't open it. Your lock picks are still too low. Come on, man. It's got to be a factory here somewhere that I can. Unlock this door because I have nowhere else to go. Okay, let's see. Okay, so what was that that just hit me? Come on, man. What? What? Did that just hit me? I don't know. Okay, so. Okay, uh, okay, I know what she's saying now. Those things that's under the ground, um, if you throw a sound wave at it, it will, it will pretty much will, you can't, can't really hear anything on it. Okay, so, so, Okay, the good question is, how do you use it? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to run it. God, they, they like little bowling, bowling balls or whatever. Come on, really? That's most of what it is. Like when they came back around, it was just like you can hear it, but you can't see it. And I and I don't even know how you how do you throw those starfishes. Um, the sound wave. I'm gonna try to learn how to do it. I think I remember it was um R something R the R B. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello? I gotta go in there and pick up my junk that I left off of before I got blown up by those doohickeys. Okay, be very careful because the last time I made myself a doo doo. Okay, so that means I'm gonna go around. Okay. 
Okay, I couldn't go that around that time, so I remember I was going to another direction. Okay, let me see. Direct hit. Okay, you got some parts for me. Let me see. Okay, I can take some cigarettes. Okay, I know I blew something up here. Where was it at? Oh no! Tanga ain't meant to do that. Okay, there's that guy screaming again. I, I guess she knows she heard something, so um, I'm gonna find you. Okay, so ten. Okay, it's underground. Okay, we got two doors. Pain medicine and a dog tag and another device. Okay, hack device inquired. Now you can hack Skynet terminal. Right. This is it. Alrighty, so I guess my game is pretty much is really saved at the moment since I got this this terminate this, this what you call a thing. Um, so I so I guess um I have to get my way to the hospital, um to pretty much find my way where I'm going, but um but like I say the um the game is very very interesting um if anybody can get this game on a PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, um, give it a go. I mean, like I say, I'm still got a long way to go. I'm definitely going to see how far um, I could get on this game. I'm not stopping. I want to continue to get this game until I beat it. Um, but it, it looked like it's fun. So I guess she was saying, you know, once I see, I'm just ready to fight a tournament. I know I can't really fight them um, because I don't have the right type of weapons to beat them. So. Because, you know, regular street weapons, you can't really do much of anything on that. So, you know, who knows? Alrighty, this is your boy, RP35. I am signing out of here. Um, please hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. I very, very appreciate that. Support my channel and my platform. Um, I will try to do more and more as I can to do more of the Terminator resistance. Um, pretty much out of that, um, probably like I say, I always do little throwback Thursdays. Um, when I go back to my old schools. So, um, I'll definitely try to get that going on every Thursdays and I try to post that up. And then I started posting up the newer games that, you know, I'm doing like I'm doing Terminator resistance. Um, I might end up started posting up some other games that I pretty much have and, you know, just pretty much just have a blast of doing that and have a good time at it. All right, this is your boy signing out of here. Y'all take care and y'all have a blessed day. Peace.